Oh, awesome. Uh, what's your favorite summer activity? Swimming. What's your favorite movie? Uh, Shawshank Redemption is really my favorite. What is your strangest thing you've ever eaten? It's probably, uh, probably squid. I mean, calamari is weird. Okay. If you had 15 minutes of fame, what would you do with it? Oh my God. Praise Jesus. Oh, I love it. That's a good one to end on. That's awesome. I love you. I love, I love you, girl. All right. Well, let's just get right to it. Are you ready? I'm ready. I'm ready. Okay, so I'm going to introduce myself first because a lot of you guys may not even know who I am because, Jesse, I shared with this. I shared this with the whole Boots and Casters page. I didn't think you'd mind. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> but I didn't think you'd mind. Uh, I'm Jenny Shaney Felt Camera, Double Diamond, been in it works for um, next month. Be, no, August will be six years. Uh, Jesse has been in for about six weeks, maybe not even that long. Five weeks, probably. Um, I met Jesse through a host of host, and I was looking back, you can probably tell me a little better than I can, but Jesse, I met through someone else hosting a post for me. Then Jesse hosted a post for me. And then because Jesse had such a great response to her post, she decided to become a distributor. But we met I met a girl named Jennifer through one of Jess, through Jesse's posts when she posted for me. And Jennifer was Jesse's first distributor. So it's just a crazy, crazy little, crazy little thing. I think that's how it went down, didn't it? Yes. Awesome. Well, my facts are good. So Jesse hasn't had 25 enrollments in since May 2nd, right? Yes, ma'am. And she's amazing. And tell us what you do for a living, how long you've been doing that. I am a high school math teacher and coach, and I am about to, I've, I've completed 17 years. Woo! Uh, about to start my 18th year. Well, and done math ever since, like the whole time? Yes. You're special. Math the whole time. Um, algebra for a tiny bit, but mainly geometry. Wow. Cool. And then. The Jennifer, um, Jennifer that's under me is actually like one of my best friends at work and okay. she also does math. How cool. Yeah. Y'all are neat. Okay. Uh, what do you coach? Basketball cheerleaders. How cool. So awesome. we do a lot of stomping and shaking and yelling. So when you first started with It Works, you were also getting used to this crazy online schooling and all that. Correct. But it didn't ever really seem to scare you. Like you fit it in. You did oh, yeah. what you do. You were just like, hit the ground running. Well, I mean, honestly, it's like, it feels like I'm just playing on my phone. <laughs> no, it does, doesn't it? It really, yeah. really does. So, okay. So, be like straight up honest with us. In the beginning, did you have any fears, concerns, or was it just all exhilarating? Um, I think, uh, my, I guess to be honest, the, the only fear that I had was how much time is this going to require of me? Because I am a, a full-time teacher. I am a mom, a wife. Um, you know, we've got cats, dogs, guinea pigs. I mean, so my only concern at first, <clears throat> at first was how much time is this going to take? You know, and, and will I be able to juggle it all? Mm -hmm. And um, I think that this works for me because I am just doing it all through social media and I'm not having to, you know, go to people's houses and set up parties and, um, deliver products and things like that. Um, I've been asked to sell, you know, different products like Mary Kay and things like that. And, uh, it's, I just really, I, I think too, the fact that I believe in the products really helps me. Yeah, because you were a customer first. 
Oh right. yeah. And you had ordered a bunch of skincare stuff too, didn't you? Before. Yes. Yeah, I forgot about that. So you were a loyal customer from a host of post, loved your products, and then we upgraded you to a distributor before your three months was up. I forgot about that. Yes, and I had really only tried the cleanse. Gotcha. That was, that was gotcha. the only thing I had tried, but, um, you know, just looking at the products and looking at the um, results from everybody, that's what really attracted me. And, of course, you know, you, I mean, you told me how doable this is. Mm -hmm. And, um, of course, you're, you're a great teacher. I hope everybody has their upline you know, it's as positive and helpful as you are. Well, we know your downline has that for sure from you because you are so, you are such a great leader to Jennifer. And I know your, your team that's coming, they will just be nothing but blessed to have you, but thank you. That's um, to say. Um, okay. So time was a concern for you. Um, time may still be a little bit of a struggle for you, but what are some things that you do to juggle your crazy life as a mom and a wife and a coach and a teacher getting used to online schooling. Like, okay, so talk to me a little bit about how you worked your business in the very beginning when you were still um, during the school year. And then I'd also like to hear, does it differ at all now? Because you enrolled, like your first six customers, you got those like this. I don't remember how quick it was, but it was like five days or something, wasn't it? Oh, you're frozen. Oh, yeah. It was it was quick. Yeah. So talk to me a little bit about how you and I, I think, your time. Um, you know, I think everybody has to get a system that works for them. Um, but, but when I get up, um, I, I've always gotten up and taken my animals outside. And usually I just sit there and watch them. Well, now I just take my phone and my coffee and I sit out there and you know, scroll through and, and, you know, check my save post and, and message people. Um, I will say one thing that has helped me is knowing that, and I've told you this before, but if somebody messages you, you don't have to message them back within like five seconds. Amen. Um, you know, if they see that you're, let's say you're doing Facebook and they say that you're, you, you're active now and you've been active now for three hours, but you haven't responded to them. You know, that might be like, Hmm, you know, why isn't she answering me? But if they see that, Hey, she, she's not even been on Facebook for however long, you know, they understand that we have to eat. We have to take showers um, you know, if they look at your profile, they know if you have children and, and things like that. So, um, but that's, you know, that's the thing that I do. I, I pretty much start my day, um, looking at it, going through, um, and then I just kind of keep my phone handy. And if I get a message, I just message somebody. Um, uh, and I'm going to tell you, if you're a new distributor and you're not doing text replacement, you're you got to be driving yourself crazy um <laughs> text replacement is amazing um you know i have a i have a just a second baby i'm sorry my daughter's talking to me she can talk to us it's fine hey look, look at this girl <laughs> is this lily oh yes i recognize the hair hey that's hello. lily hello okay. But this is a sidebar, but in North Alabama, we have this thing called wine fairies. Yes. So we just got home and someone has whined me. Oh. So she's excited. She's all excited. Was she and that is it? She, yeah, she can go, she can go get it and look in it. Um, <laughs> but that's actually why we went to Walmart was because we were buying something. We were going to go wine a, a lady tonight. But anyway, um, and then my car died. Now I'm nervous to go anywhere. How oh, funny. I think I'm going to leave it running for a while. But um, text replacement will save you so much time. And I think that's why, you know, I'm able to just sign people. And y'all, I've signed 25 people. 
but I've gotten 75 no's or a hundred no's or 50 not today's. Um, and you know, the, the not today's, I take my book and I write down what day they say. Um, I had a lady this morning who said, well, she's kind of gruff, but she said, what's this weight loss stuff you keep posting about? <laughs> and so I told her, I said, well, I've been on the products, you know, for a while and I love the products. And um, instead of sending all my friends and family to, to Jenny, um, Jenny said, girl, you need to sell this. So long story short, um, she said, not today. She said, next Wednesday. She said, it's going to be next Wednesday before I can order. So you better believe I wrote her name down and wrote, call her Wednesday and wrote the date down. Um, because you, you know, if they tell you a date like that, they, they usually mean it. So, so go back and get back with them. I think that's so important to, if they say not right now, to find a way to get a date from them. So a yeah. lot of times what I'll say is awesome. I'll save you a spot. Um, what day are you thinking? Even mm -hmm. if they don't say my payday is on so-and-so day, I'll, I mean, like I have as many spots as I want, but I'm saving them a spot in my calendar that day for me mm -hmm. to take some time. So I, I think that's a great tip. Yes. Um, okay. So you, how much time, like percentage wise, do you think you spend your it works time on host to post because you jumped right into host to post because you knew the power of it because you had seen the customers I had signed from your post and the girl that mm -hmm. brought me you, you were like oh, yeah. all about jumping right into it. So are you like me where you spend the majority of your time on host to post or kind of tell me what you're, you're feeling about host to post? Yeah. I mean, you know, I do, I do some posts of my own. Um, today I did a, a live of me putting wraps on my legs. Oh, I didn't see it. I'll go back and watch it. And that was fun. Um, uh, it's actually the first time I'd ever done a wrap. And I, I said, I ordered these wraps and I'm so excited to get them in. And um, so I did that. I did that. And, you know, so sometimes you'll have somebody comment on that. Um, you know, I did a coffee video and I'm still kind of working on the lives. I did the, the live today and put the AirPods in and it was a lot better. Oh, good. Cause she was having some issues with her sound. It was like a roar yeah. in the background or something. Yeah. And y'all need to know, I need that new iPhone. <laughs> <laughs> this this you phone is so <laughs> Maybe you'll be the winner. Do you have 50 yet? Have you entered yourself yet? <laughs> Oh, I'm working like that too. One time my phone was about to just be on its last leg. And every time I would go live, the screen would shake, 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 shake. And I would have to hit it. <laughs> it was awful. I, I do my phones like I do my cars. I just kind of drive them until the wheels fall off. I don't know. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, yeah, it looks like my phone needs a battery. My car needs a battery, but hey. Oh my it's, gosh. But hey, if that's all that's wrong, I'm still really blessed. Absolutely. All right. So she jumped right into host to post and you guys, uh, when you're training your new distributors, I don't know if you guys have felt like this before, but I felt like is me teaching them about host to post at this point in the game going to overwhelm them. And a lot of times I didn't teach them about host to post in the beginning for that fear. Um, but you know, it's really important that we help them get that first win, that second win, that third win, so that they have some excitement to run on. And you guys, host to post is so simple. And when I'm teaching host to post, I teach thermophyte and cleanse because those conversations are the most simple ones. Um, that's what I use. And that's what I teach my new distributors to use because those conversations go almost always exactly the same. So don't be scared to throw your new distributors into host to post because they're going to get interest and they're going to get excited. So, I mean, I'm glad that I didn't 
keep you from it, but I probably would have if, if you hadn't come from host to post. So I have, since you came on board, I have just been throwing my new distributors into host to post right, like right away. Now, did we ever do a chicken soup list with you? Did you message like just straight up message people like, Hey, I just started this looking for a few product testers. Did we ever do that for you? I don't know if we did. You just went straight into no. posting and host to post mm -hmm. and that's got mm -hmm. you everything you need. Because I think sometimes for me, right. like making that chicken noodle soup list in the beginning was a huge turnoff for me as a new distributor. Now, some new distributors are ready to do that. They don't mind just going to their grandmother and saying, hey, I just started this. Can I give you a digital catalog and see what you might be interested in? But for me, that was so uncomfortable and I didn't do it. I never did it. I never did a chicken soup list. So if, you know, if your new distributor doesn't want to do host to post, go another route. If they don't want to do chicken soup list, go another route, just make it work for them. All right, so, Oh, okay. So I have been very impressed with the way you've trained your new distributor. You are a brand new distributor, bringing a brand new distributor on board. And so often I hear from my team, I'm scared to even talk to anybody about being a distributor because I don't know how to train them. Yet you've involved me very little in training Jennifer. And she has also enrolled her customers like crazy. Has she gotten her six already? She has. Oh, has. yeah. She, um, she got to six yesterday, and I think she's enrolled two for sure today. Awesome. Yay. Yeah. She, so, yeah. So you knew Jennifer. Jennifer was your friend, so that's probably a little different. Um, but, yeah, I mean, you know, I don't know. I don't know that I have treated her differently than I would um, anybody you know, else. If I, yeah, if I didn't know her, um, I don't know if it's because I'm a teacher, you know, and, and that's just kind of my way, helping people. Um, you know, I, I've got students all the time that ask me the same question 20 times. So yeah. I'm just, you know, kind of used to that and I don't mind um, helping. You know, I don't know if that's just having a teacher heart. Um, if you don't, uh, and you're trying to train a distributor, it's not going to go well. I mean, you've got to help them and you've got to make them comfortable. And you've got to remember back when you started, I mean, you don't know everything. Um, you know, and if it's your downline, you're not going to be successful if your downline is not successful. So, you know, it, it is worth your time to invest time in your distributors. Absolutely. So tell us a little bit about that training process. How did, Jennifer through? How did you get her up to speed and enrolling so quickly? Like you've enrolled so quickly. How did, what was that training process like? Cause you um, got, she's a brand new distributor training a brand new distributor and I've helped some, but really I haven't, I mean, not much. Yeah. Um, what I did with Jennifer is I suggested to her to start um, just posting on her wall um, and posting, um, you know, about some products that she's using. Uh, I, I do feel like it's good to start with something that, you know, maybe you've tried so you have a little bit of experience. Um, but I had... Um, I'm so sorry. I got distracted. No, you're totally fine. I promise. But um, I told Jennifer, I said, start with, let's start with one thing. Just put it up there. Hey, I'm looking for six people to lose 30 pounds in 90 days. Um, uh, you know, comment below if interested or, or you know, the, the song. Um, so she did that. And I said, okay. I said, um, I said, you know, here's the wording. I taught, I immediately taught her text replacement. Okay. I said, um, you do not want to be going back and forth, back and forth, copying and pasting. I said, if you will save this, um, and, and do your messaging on your phone, it will really save you time. So, um, I personally, um, my text replacement, I have TFX1, TFX2, TFX3, TFX4. Um, 
And I said, you save them as whatever you want to save it as, what you can remember. So she does TFX info, TFX price, um, and then I'm not sh I'm not sure what they're named after that. Um, yeah, because if you set them all up and you don't know what you've named them, you're not going to use them. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. You you definitely have to you know, you definitely have to name them something that you'll remember. And um, Jennifer, she said, she said, yeah, she said I, I tried the one two three four, and she said, but I just couldn't rem remember what number I was on. Yeah. And I said, well, I guess me being a math teacher. And, and such a number person, I can remember what number I'm on. So I said, you do whatever works for you. Yeah. Um, and so she did that. And, um, you know, and she would message me, like she said, hey, you know, they're asking this, you know, how would you answer? So I told I said, this is, you know, this is what I would say. Um, and that, that really helps. But um, I've, I've been blessed um, some of us are not blessed to have a job where you can look at your phone. Um, you know, a lot of nurses and um, people, you know, they're, they're go, 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 go. They, they can't stop and look at their, <clears throat> their phone or, um, you know, some of us that might be like factory workers and they have to leave their phones in their lockers. Mm -hmm. um, I'm blessed where, you know, I, I do have a job where I can look down at my phone and if I want to send a quick little message to somebody, um, a long message, but that takes me, you know, three little types because of <laughs> my replacement. I can. Um, so those of you that have, you know, access to your phone and you won't, um, you know, get in trouble at work, this, this, you, you can work on this all day, yeah. really. Yeah. Um, those of you that can't, you know, if you've got a job where you got to put your phone away, then just, you know, set aside some time. You know, if you want to do 7 to 8.30 is when I work on um, Coast to Post or It Works or, you know, do, do what you can do. Um, well, there is always a rush to get your first six customers. And, I mean, we all want to make tons of money, but just go at your pace, you know, mm -hmm. go at your pace. I mean, there was one day I signed three people and then there was two days in a row where I signed none and yeah. you know, just go at your pace. I think that's a great point because I think that you cannot work yourself to the bone where you get so overwhelmed that you hate it. And Absolutely. You, but you also have to, I mean, this is how I work anyways. Maybe everybody doesn't, but I have to, um, figure out a schedule where I don't feel like I'm neglecting my kids. It's okay if my house gets nasty. I don't care about that, but I got to make sure I'm giving myself to the different areas of my, you know, my priorities. And I had to actually write out a schedule for myself um, so that I could get used to okay, I'm doing this at this time, this at this time, this at this time. And sometimes they overflow into each other. But I heard uh, Pam Souter say once, someone asked her one time, how do you maintain balance in your life? And she said, you won't. You'll never achieve balance. She said, but the trick is you can't drop the same ball two days in a row. Mm -hmm. She said, so if you drop the parenting ball on Monday, make sure your parenting game is strong on Tuesday. If you drop the husband ball on Tuesday, make sure you give him some extra loving on Wednesday. And mm -hmm. I have loved that piece of advice. So if you drop the, you're not really super supportive of your team one day because you're so busy with your own thing and rolling customers, make mm -hmm. sure you love on your team more the next day. So I have loved that piece of advice from the very beginning. Oh, okay. yes, absolutely. Absolutely. And I will say to you, um, when you're new, um, when you're new, you know, it can be a little overwhelming. Um, you want your family to support you. Um, so don't, you know, try, try real hard. Well, do this anyway in your life. You know, if your kids come up and they're asking you questions and, you know, try not to snap at them because you don't want them, you don't want them to, you know, kind of resent what you're doing. Mm -hmm. And I, you know, we should never be snappy at our children, but it, it sometimes happens. But, um, you know, my, my husband, he, he's, uh, 
he likes a lot of attention. So I have to make sure, you know, if I'm doing something, I want him to back me, uh, which I have gotten him to back me. At first it was, you're on your phone again? Like you're on your phone all the time. And then when he saw my first paycheck, he was like, oh, you are making money. You're not so, just playing all day on your phone. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Um, so, you know, but, um, you know, my kids, they come up to me all the time and it looks like I'm just playing on my phone. Um, so, you know, I just tell them, you know, very politely, you know, hey guys, give me just a second and I'll do, and I'll do that. Um, so just try to be gentle with your family and it will come back to you tenfold. Absolutely. They'll, you know, they'll, they'll be your biggest fans and be rooting you on. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. You mentioned going live earlier. Um, I want to talk about that. Um, I know maybe your first live was when Christy challenged you. Was that your first live? Uh, yeah, it was. So yeah. another girl on our team challenged everybody to go, to go live that day. And she was like, okay, I accept the challenge. And she did. I mean, you guys, when you're going live, you're going to appeal to a whole nother audience. Lily. Plus, if you are doing host to post, it's another way for them, that brand new person that you meet to go to your page and see that you really are a real authentic person. I mean, it doesn't matter if you've done your hair and makeup that day, just let the world see you. Okay. So let me give you guys a tip too. So that would have terrified me in the beginning. They didn't even have Facebook live for like three years of my It Works career, but I wouldn't have done it, but I want to encourage you guys to do it. Uh, don't be scared. Okay. So you can work up to it though. So you can go live just of your kids shooting basketball in the backyard. And then the next time go live of, you know, whatever y'all are doing in the backyard and maybe say a few things. So you get used mm -hmm. to saying things. Then the next time, maybe you're videoing them. And at the end, you turn it around real quick and say something and then end it. So you can work up to that. But when you're going live, Facebook is going to show your stuff to more people. And I don't go live a whole lot, but it really does expose you in a new way. And it builds in that authenticity. Mm -hmm. I love watching your lives. They're great. So let's see. So we've talked about post to post. We talked about you being an amazing trainer. I want to talk about your heart. We have talked um, a lot about like this chick right here. She truly cares about people. And I think that is so key in this. I don't think that you can be a selfish person at heart and feel guilt in this because you do have to spend so much of time helping others, whether it's a loyal customer who's confused about changing their auto shipment, or if it's a, you know, another team member that maybe even drive on. You guys, she's as active in our group chat as I am. If someone asks a question, she jumps right in there and answers it if she knows the answer. And you guys, it's all about helping people in this business. So, um, you know, I think that for Jesse, when she, when someone comes to her for help with weight loss or whatever it is, she truly cherishes that opportunity to help someone. Like I can see that in you. And that is why you're so successful. And that is why when someone can't order right now, you're not, you don't get discouraged. I have never seen you get discouraged. Mm -hmm. Do you get discouraged? No. You've never expressed no. discouragement. No. Is that a word to me? Um, because no she realizes that she's going to do the work. She's going mm -hmm. to plant the seeds. She's going to water the seeds. And, and she just gets it that when you do those things, they come and they remember you. Like when you're kind to those people, mm -hmm. even though you know they're not going to order, even though you know they're not going to join your team, they'll be ready. Just not now. And they'll remember you and they'll come back to you. So I've been so impressed with that. Oh, absolutely. I mean, when so when you have the host to post i you know i message them send your friend request so you know they accept my friend request and um they'll message them and like i said i mean you know you get 25 yeses but you might have a hundred no's well don't unfriend your nose. Okay. I mean, just keep them in there because 
you might get a no today, but then they keep seeing you and keep seeing you. Um, and, and, you know, I've had some that come back like, you know what, I think I am going to try that. So make sure that you're, you know, that you're keeping your nose and your friend list because they, they were interested at one moment. Yeah. And, and things change, you know, they might hear, you know, well, this product's 40 bucks or this product's um, 60 bucks or, or whatever. And, you know, maybe they're just on a budget right now. I mean, you never know if they had to buy a new fridge last week and they just don't have the money right now. Um, they don't know you. So a lot of times they're not going to get real deep in their personal business or finances, you know. Um, I'm not real, um, you know, if they, if they tell me no, I'm not real pushy on getting a yes um, because I know I've planted that seed by having that conversation with them. I keep them as a friend, uh, as a friend. Um, you know, I like their stuff. Um, I've got one lady that told me no, and, uh, I'm seriously about to go buy a cake from her because she is like an amazing baker. And, um, I keep seeing all her cakes on her site. Um, I've got one lady that's, uh, I had one lady that she said no because she was going to have surgery and she didn't want to start anything before her surgery. Um, and you know, I just, I just asked her, um, you know, and she, I don't think she'd mind me telling y'all, but I just said, you know, well, Miss Linda, can I add you to my prayer list? And uh, she said, oh, please do. I'm a part of a Bible study group and, and we, you know, have our prayer list and everything. And I absolutely believe in being a prayer warrior, um, for people, especially women, um, because I, I've got to pay it forward. I've had women that have prayed for me and uh, they were warriors for me. So I've definitely got to pay it forward. But, um, but Miss Linda, she had a, a surgery, kind of a weird surgery. I'd never heard of it before. I had to Google it to see even what she was having. And, uh, so I checked up on her and I said, um, you know, have, how many more days to your surgery? And then it got, it got pushed back. She eventually had the surgery. So um, she had told me what day. And I said, if you don't mind, I, um, what day is your surgery? So, I, you know, again, I can be a prayer warrior for you. And, uh, and, and if y'all are religious, you know, I, I highly suggest you be a prayer, a prayer warrior for somebody. Um, I really think it means so much more when people are praying for you versus you just praying for yourself. Um, so I, I highly recommend that. Um, but Miss Linda had her surgery. She, she did great. Uh, she's recovering and she, she came back and she just ordered about two days ago. And uh, I didn't care if Miss Linda ever ordered, you know, I mean, a lot of your nose are going to be, you know, just make your circle grow. So, you know, it, even if I can't make money off of all these women, you know, at least I've gained some new friends too. Absolutely. Absolutely. And, you know, um, people all the time are asking, give me your scripts, give me your scripts, give me your scripts. Mm -hmm. And of course we have those to save you time so that you don't have to figure out how to explain thermophyte. We mm -hmm. want to explaining loyal customer program the correct way with the correct verbiage. Of course we have those things. Yeah. But a lot of your sales are going to be made in here, not in your heart mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. how they know you feel about them. And yes. they know you're not just rushing through the sales and turning through the numbers. Now I'm not going to tell you that there are not those conversations where all I tell them are, the, the explanation of the thermophyte, the mm -hmm. price of the thermophyte, and they're ready to order. There's a lot of those too. That but was me. <laughs> you do. You, yeah, you do. <laughs> if you're, if you're not enrolling, it's not a problem with your scripts. It's a problem with your intentions. You know, it's a mm -hmm. problem with your, um, maybe your comfort zone. Maybe, maybe it's a problem with your numbers, maybe you're just not talking to enough people, but it's not the, it's not the scripts. I mean, everybody has the way to 
explain that stuff. And that's really all I give my team. You know, if my team comes back right. and say, hey, this person just asked this weird question, how do you answer it? Of course we help them answer it. But uh -huh. um, building in that humanness and showing them who you are and really kind of trying to not be so professional. I mean, when you're so professional, to me, that's kind of like, you're talking to a robot. I don't ever want to be like a robot. Yeah. And, and you know, you'll meet a lot of people that ask you a lot of questions. You know, well, I have um, this, you know, this going on and that going on. And, you know, it's <laughs> you got a big old dog. Come here. Okay. He does not like cats. Oh, gosh. <laughs> no. Murphy. Anyone have any specific questions for Jesse? Um, I like to pick Jesse's brain because it's hard to remember what it was like to be a new distributor, especially because a lot of things have changed since then in six years. And I love to, when people are just amazing like she is, I love to just like get in her brain and see how she thinks and see how I can be a better leader for other new distributors. So if you guys are a new distributor yourself and you um, have questions for her or me or whoever, uh, or if you're an old distributor and you want to get in a new distributor's brain, who's rocking it, like feel free to ask. So Hannah must have hopped on late. She said, how did you train your distributor? So we talked a little bit about that. Um, Jesse has, done a good bit of her training for her new distributor like 90 percent probably on her own without even really asking me for help i do encourage all my brand new distributors to not ever feel like um not ever feel scared to enroll a brand new distributor because i will help i mean like if i had to train a distributor's distributor 100 percent, i'm cool with that because i know certain people are comfortable with different things you had a headache again mm -hmm. you can't have any more ibuprofen mm -hmm. Take that and drink it and you'll come lay down right here. Mm -hmm. I had a headache once today. Um, but Jessie said that she started her new distributor out. Put that back on, please. By um, teaching her host to post right away, teaching her text replacement right away, and helping her get posts up on her wall that were really good right away. Was there anything else that we didn't talk about as far as training your new distributor? Well, I do think... I think it's important um, that that they go through the the units and the videos, um, and then I also think it's important that they just get online on their website and look at the product. Yeah, read about the products. Um, you know, we we need to you know we need to know what kind of products we offer. And, and really, you know, really know about the products. Um, you know, if, if you don't know that Skinny Brew comes in little packets and, and not a cup, <laughs> you know, just little things like that. I mean, you know, and I, you don't have to really study, but, you know, look, look at the website and know what products we have. And, um, uh, and then make sure that you're, you know, keeping up with like it works um, when they send things out through Connect. Um, I really recommend everybody watching those um, Facebook lives. Uh, sometimes it's like a Facebook live of a Zoom. Um, it's uh, the Sunday night family call. Yes. Uh, and every, you know, and if you can't watch it, you know, have a friend that you can rely on, watch it. Um, I know sometimes things come up, um, but they, a lot of good information comes out on those on Sunday, on Sunday nights. Yes. We got a question right here and I would love to hear your response to this. Um, but I also want to say Jesse's face is on every zoom I've ever been on. Like she's like, she, like, even if I'm not doing it, she's there. Like she's, she's a lifetime, lifetime learner. I guess you know how important that is as a teacher. Mm -hmm. um, that is so important. I'm six years in and I still get on how to become a Ruby training videos because even if I'm not trying to get to Ruby, I am um, trying to train people to get to Ruby. So if I can learn other people's training techniques, like don't ever think that you know it all, you don't. Um, okay, so 
Galaxy A10e, I don't know who you are, tell us who you are, yeah. said, what do you do when you're not getting comments? Wait, hold on. Let me scroll back up. There was another one. Uh, Jesse or Jenny, how do y'all keep up with the positive attitude and not get discouraged if y'all get no's? Well, let me tell you, I get way more no's every right. single day than I do yeses. So take yeah. it away, Jesse. Go for it. Well, let me, let I love me, that question. Thank yeah, you. Let, let me tell you this. Um, let's think about a store like um, the dollar store. And then let's think about a store like a jewelry store. Okay. A dollar store, you know, people that are going in that store, probably a hundred percent of people are going to buy something from that store. A jewelry store, some people are going to come in. They're going to be like, Hmm, I'm interested in this jewelry, but I'm just not sure if I want to invest in this. Well, you know, I feel like I'm more like a jewelry store. Um, I've got to treat everybody the same, give them my, my attention. Um, you know, and, and generally, you know, if you, if you don't care about your customer list and, and I only have 25 customers right now. So to me, I have like a little classroom of people. So I, I do care about them. Um, you know, if I had a thousand customers, I don't know that I would be able to, you know, um, you know, care about them like I do right now. Um, I always care about them. But so what I'm saying is we have people that are going to be interested that are not going to buy, or maybe they're not going to buy right now. You've got to remember that when you get a no, it is very possible, very possible that they could be a yes later. So just don't be discouraged. Um, you know, pray for your business, have your team pray for you. Um, worrying and being discouraged, that negative energy, it won't help. Um, I, there was a question, I don't have it on my screen. Was it, um, what do you do when you're not getting a lot of comments? Yeah, that the was, next one, um, Emily said, what do you do when you're not getting a lot of comments? Okay. Much attention on your post to reach oh, okay. the people me, and getting people to interact and ask questions. Okay. Let me tell you, because in the last month, I feel like I have been, I have grown so much on my Facebook. I didn't have many friends because I was very picky about who I was friends with. Um, and I have exploded like some YouTube star. I'm not a YouTube star. Oh, I hope we didn't lose her. I think we lost her. Well, she's probably going to hop back on. But while she's hopping back on, I mean, I hope she realizes she's gone. She might still be talking like, you know, when you're on the phone with somebody. <laughs> but I want to go back to the positive attitude thing. You do. Um, what do you do when you don't have a positive attitude, Lincoln? Cry. Cry? <laughs> no. Um, it's just an, it's a, um, it's an, it's a decision you have to make. Uh, in your life, in your, here she is, in your parenting, in your relationships, in who you are. Hey, Jesse, I went back to the positive attitude thing while we were waiting for you to get back. I, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. My, uh, my husband called and I promise I told him I was on the Zoom um, earlier, but. Um, oh, how funny. Do you need to talk uh, to him? Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. I told my to text him you know Lily she's 13 I said text him tell him I'm still on zoom funny. But, um well I was I was saying about the positive attitude that it is really a decision you have to make for yes. yourself in your life in your parenting in your relationships in your business because I wasn't always positive as a teenager and in my early 20s I I tried to find the negative in everything and it was a miserable way to live absolutely and, when I made the decision to look for the good in everything, everything changed for me. Everything, mm -hmm. The way I felt about myself, the way I felt about other people, everything changed. And um, you have to do that in your business as well, because there's going to be bad in every day. There's going to be good in every day. And what you focus on, what you choose to focus on, because it is a choice, um, expands. And if you're focusing on the negative, 
you're going to soak up more negative. You're going to notice more negative. So there's going to seem like there's more negative around you. But if you focus on the positive, you're going to notice that there's more and more positive around you because that's what you're focusing on. You bring in what you, what you put out. So don't let yourself get discouraged. It's part of the game. If you're not getting enough yeses, you probably game. haven't talked to enough people. Um, and mm -hmm. just know that no's are part of it. And the more no's you get, that's the yes. more, the more customers you're going to get in the future. If you had all yeah. yeses today, you wouldn't be able to handle it. You need no's today so that you have a healthy business in the future because mm -hmm. those, those no's are going to be your customers next month and the next month and the next month, as long as you stay consistent and do what you got to do. Okay. You were talking about, uh, what do you do? Um, uh, they asked about, um, you know, they're not commenting and things. Um, I would strongly suggest that they build their friend list. Um, you know, I, I had a very small friend list, um, cause I was so picky about who I let on my Facebook. Um, but now, um, you know, Facebook does, um, people you may know or, um, friends of friends, start building your circle, um, you know, add people, even if you don't think that they'll buy, they might not buy from you, but they might host a post mm -hmm. for you. So um, start building your circle uh, or expanding your circle. Um, next, if you're not getting enough comments, I'm thinking maybe your Facebook algorithm is low. Um, so there's some simple things that you can do to build that algorithm. And I know that I, I think they talk about it in vision in the vision group, but, um, one simple thing that I've done that's helped me reach more people is doing these quick, fun, interactive posts. I threw up a question the other day. Um, it said, I'm curious, what's your phobia? Well, I had tons of people. Everybody wanted to tell me that they were scared of snakes and scared <laughs> of spiders. You know, um, so. we lost her again. She, he's probably calling. I heard her say, so. um, she's so right about that. Um, making sure that you're doing something that makes people want to interact, even if it doesn't have to do with it works at all. Um, when, when you get a lot of comments on one post, then Facebook shows your other posts to more people. So I try to do an interactive post like that um, maybe two times a week or so. Here she is. Welcome back. Did he call again? I'm so sorry. Apparently, I don't know how to, to decline a call. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I keep trying to decline like decline their call. Um, that was, I, that was an old coach of mine. Oh, years and years ago. I'll, I'll call him back though. But, um, I did an interactive post. Um, uh, oh, 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 this one really blew up too. And I, I just said, um, if you could go anywhere in the world, you know, where would you go on vacation? And of course, everybody, you know, I mean, that's just a quick thing that you can get answers. Yeah. So, you know, the more um, when Facebook sees people commenting and you just ask simple questions like that. Um, I did another one. Um, what uh, I said, you know, hey, peeps or hey, friends, uh, what's your favorite salad dressing? Or something like that. Just something. I mean, something silly. But you know, everybody's like, hmm, okay, French ranch. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Um, you know. And then I'll go back and I'll say, you know, oh, mine too, or or, or whatever. Um, I've heard that sharing posts decreases your uh, Facebook algorithm. So, you know, everything that you think is cute or funny out there, um, you know, you don't have to share it because you want your Facebook to be about you as a person and your business and your family. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, if you've got a hundred posts on there, like little jokes and things like that, um, what do you, 
what do you really want them to see? Um, you and your business and your sweet family, or do you want them to see a hundred jokes? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. But um, if you will do those things, um, you know, stop sharing a bunch of stuff that, you know, is not helping you. Mm -hmm. And, you know, do some more interactive posts, you know, get people talking on your page and um, building that circle. Absolutely. Send them, requests, send them requests to, you know, suggested people or, hey, people you might know, send them, you know, build your circle. Uh, if you'll do that, I, I promise you, you'll start getting more comments. Totally agree. All right, we had one more question. If y'all have any more feel free to shout them out. You can totally unmute yourself if you'd like to just ask them. Um, same person, don't know who you are, said, uh, how often do you, I don't know, message your, how often do you message your customers, like I guess potentials, for the ones that say next week or no, because I don't want to bug them, is what she said. So I guess she's asking about follow-up. I don't know if it's a she. Well, I don't. It could be a guy. <laughs> So what's your follow-up process like when they don't order right away? I think we um, lost. I've had some. Um, can you hear me? Uh-huh. So I've had some that, um, you know, they, they tell me that they're interested, um, but they're just not, you know, not sure or, you know, maybe later or now's not good. Um, I do, I save those messages, messages in my phone. And um, like right now we have the sale come up. So I um, immediately said, you know, hey, I know at one time, you know, you, you had considered um, looking at our products and I just wanted you to know we've got a sale coming on. And I, and I usually let them know that our sales are rare. rare. Um, and, uh, and then I tell them, you know, think it over. Let me know if you, you know, decide you'd like to order. Of course, I, you know, pretty up my wording when I'm messaging them. Um, but one thing I do, and I'll show you, uh, my notebook, um, I, I can show you this. Yes, I want you to show them how you keep track of your host of hosts since it's a little bit different than mine. Okay. okay. Last night. Is that what you're talking about? Sure. Yeah, yeah, sure. Okay, so here is my notebook. Jenny does hers a tiny bit different. So I have June host to post. And what I did, I'm, I go ahead and number one, two, three, four, five, and I've got all the way to. I think I'm like at 40 something. Okay. So the first thing that I do is I number my pages. Now Jenny does hers a little different. She numbers like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and she writes the names. That would be all my hosts. But, yeah. Yeah, it would be on one page. But I write one, and then Deanna said that she would post it. And then two, um, Olivia said she'd post it. Three, Alicia said that she would post. Now notice Alicia's not circled because Alicia told me she would post, but she never did. Uh, I'm gonna contact her again about that, but um, I circle them if they have actually posted. Now, why is this girl highlighted? Well, let me show you one that's not. Tammy Finley, she circled. So she did a host a post for me. The reason Deanna is highlighted is because I entered her name last week. So once they've been highlighted, they have been entered into the entry. And remember that gets them into all four entries. So I don't have to enter her every single week. Now, what I do then, under Deanna, I write down her interested people. So Brandon commented on hers, and Jacob commented on hers. Um, Olivia had a bunch of comments, David, Denise, Deanna. But here's what I do. I con so I, I'm contacting all those people, and I'm trying to get them to be customers. 
once they become a customer, let me find one right here. This Miss Susan, she circled. So she did the host post for me. And what I do when Miss Susan has somebody that actually orders, I circle their name. So I'm going to enter Susan's name once because she did the host post for me. Amy bought off of her host to post. So that gets Susan a second entry. Because remember, everybody that buys off that host to post gives them another entry. And, and you got to keep up with it because, you know, I mean, it's not fair to tell them that you're going to put them in there and, and not keep up with it. And every entry you have is a higher chance for you to have somebody that actually wins. Mm -hmm. And when you do have somebody who wins, that gets you a ton more hosts. Absolutely. And uh, look at Miss Pearly here. Sweet Miss Pearly. Miss Pearly, um, she had messaged me last week and um, she said, Can we talk about this Monday? And I said, Absolutely. So you'll notice I put, message Monday. I messaged her Monday and she said, can you call me tomorrow? <laughs> so I marked this out because I did it and it says call Tuesday and I'm sorry I'm putting her phone number up there but um so I called her Tuesday. Now she had a lot of questions and everything. She's not circled yet because she wanted to talk to her doctor which is absolutely 100% fine by me. Um, you know, if they have questions, encourage them, you know, to talk to their doctor. Um, that will, once again, plant that seed that you care about them. Um, you know, if you're not sure, if you're not sure if something's safe, always tell them, go, you know, talk to the doctor. I actually sent Miss Pearlie the... Um, I printed out the product info and uh, I'm sorry, I didn't print it, but I sent her the product info and I said, take this to your doctor and let them know, you know, that she would like to take this and make sure that it's safe for you. Uh, the last thing I want is for one of my customers to not take it and, uh, you know, and have some kind of reaction and my business, um, you know, be destroyed because I told them, yeah, it's okay. You know, go ahead and take it. Yeah. Uh, it's not worth no. it. So, yeah. It's not worth absolutely. it. That 10% or, or whatever percent of that sale that you're making is not worth, you know, you, you giving them false information okay. um, and they'll, and they'll, they'll trust you better. And uh, Miss Pearlie, she might not be able to take that TFX. Her doctor might say no, but I have been so honest with her and have not been pushy with her, she might come back and try some of my coffee or she might come back and try some of my wrinkle cream, um, you know, and things like that. Absolutely. So, you know, just, um, you know, I, I would say, um, you know, we, we have to be a tiny bit pushy. Um, pushy is just not the word I want to use, but, you know, um, but it's, you know, it, it's just not worth, you know, putting somebody's, I, I just think honesty is the best policy. And I think when you treat people like you'd want to be treated, it, it really does come back to you. And I think, I think you're so right about that, but I think that we feel pushy when we don't have the right words to you mm -hmm. when you follow mm -hmm. up. We don't have a good follow-up system because mm -hmm. what you said about getting a date, that is that's that's huge and like if you mm -hmm. don't follow up within that day that looks bad on you so absolutely like, that is a definite thing that you want to do um another thing with follow-up is um so what i do is if they like if they said they were going to go to my website and order and they didn't so a good thing to say with that would be hey was that website easy to navigate I mean, you're just trying to be helpful for them because they didn't order. You sent them the information, so maybe they need your help. Okay, so mm -hmm. if they said they were going to send you their information and they didn't, so maybe they got busy, maybe their kid got sick, 
how uncaring would it be for you not to check on them? So they said they were going to do something. Maybe they had a car wreck. They didn't send it to you. Maybe they just decided they didn't want it. But all you can say is, Hey, um, would you, do you want me to get that hair, skin, nail sent out to you today? Or, Hey, is everything okay? I didn't hear back from you last night and I got a little worried. I mean, you know, you can come out of that such a caring way. Um, so another thing, like if you've followed up with them a couple of times about one specific thing, you guys have talked about one specific product. If a sale comes out on a different product, follow up with them about that. Hey, I know we never got that order in for you. The cleanse maybe for the cleanse for you. Maybe that wasn't like the one for you, but have you ever thought about this, uh, thermo fight? It's on BOGO right now, or maybe you've been talking about the product but you want to follow up with them with asking them to host a post for you. Like get these people an entry to win a thousand dollars. Like that's not pushy. That's like, yeah, give me an entry. You know, they'll be excited. Um, so even and, though, go ahead. Um, and I, I think, you know, just take your time with it too. You know, if they tell you, um, I can't this month. I make a note of that. Mm -hmm. And I try to, you know, the next month, you know, cause I had some, you know, some, I started in May and now we're in June. Yeah. Um, you know, I had one lady, um, you know, I had, now here's a follow up for y'all. I had a lady say, no, thank you. I think I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing. And I said, Okay, yes, ma'am. If you, you know, if you change your mind, feel free to save my number or, you know, and message me. Well, I messaged her about three days ago and said, hey, lady, just want to check on you and see how your weight loss was going. Well, she said, not good at all. <laughs> and I'm thinking, honey, don't I know because it's hard. I mean, you know, our bodies, we get older, um, you know, we, I hate working out, <laughs> but, um, you know, our, our bodies, um, my body needed these really good supplements. Mm -hmm. You know, I needed it. Um, I'm a, a teacher, a coach, a mom, a wife, a, a fur, fur mom, you know, um, I, I needed some good products for my body so I could keep up with it all. And, uh, you know, I, I would, I think it's a good thing. I'm, I'm feed, I've been feeding my soul for a while, but now I'm actually feeding my body some good nutrients. So I think that's, that's a good thing. Absolutely. But, um, you know, don't just try not to, to rush it to um, contact as many people as you can. And guys, you just cannot get discouraged. I mean, I can show you my book right now. Um, you know, I can flip through here. And, and, you know, I don't want to bore you by flipping through my book. But these are my host to post. This was at the beginning of June. They're not circled. They did not buy from me. They did not buy from me. I'm still working on, you know, some of them. Um, this lady is, you know, a real good possibility. She didn't even put it up. Didn't put it up. Didn't put it up. Um, I, I'm so... I'm being successful and you can be successful with a bunch of no's, you know, but if I have 20 no's and two yeses, that's two yeses. It's gonna, it's gonna take some time. It's gonna take some time for us to build up, you know, to, to build it up. But this is what you gotta keep in mind. Once you get it built up, that paycheck's coming in every month, okay? So let's say, you know, the first month, you didn't make a whole lot. Let's say you made 60 bucks. Well, that's 60 bucks that you're gonna have coming in this month, the next month, the next month. Um, let's say you made 200 bucks. That's 200 extra dollars every month that you're gonna have coming in. So just keep chipping away, keep chipping away. And you cannot get discouraged because that you don't want that negative energy in your life anyway. Mm -hmm. But Absolutely. well, yeah. I think just sitting here listening to you talk, I think in a nutshell, 
the key to the fact that you've had 25 enrollments and you know this is only your second month in the business is really the same key to success for everybody you yes. own the fact that you have to stay positive that mm -hmm. you have to have sort of a thick skin but i don't even think you look at it that way you don't look at it as you have a thick skin to the nose you look at it as the nose are just part of it and mm -hmm. i'm going to love on those people too yeah. um so you're consistent i mean you work your business every day and fish are not just jumping in your boat you're fishing oh. for them i mean like oh, yeah. you you're consistent with it and you're just doing the things and you're following the the advice of all the people and you're continuing to learn and i think that's key for whoever i mean it's the same no matter who you are how long you've been in the business yes yeah absolutely well i don't have anything else and it looks like there's not any more wait hold on please flip through your book she said you already did and i'm so glad you did that because it drives home the point that you have she, way more no's does she need me to flip through it again i don't know when she sent that i don't know if it was before or after what is a good follow-up system they said i think that she sent that before we talked about that so um just swapping gears like if you've talked to them about something for a while, ask them to host a post. That's a follow up because, okay, if they were interested in thermofight, maybe you can give them a thermofight host a post. And then every single time somebody comments, that's putting it back in their mind again. So that's a really great way to follow up. And then if they say that they don't have the money for it, do not be scared to offer them the business opportunity. If they don't have $39, they need this business opportunity. So, uh, and a lot of times people will look at $39 for weight loss as a splurge, but $99 to change their family's financial situation as an investment and not a selfish purchase, you know, with that mom guilt that we all have. Yeah. Yeah. Can I ask yeah. Hey, Rail. It's hi. <laughs> it's not letting me like tap. So I keep feeling like I'm like, oh, no, that's not easy. Um, and let me say, yeah, we do that wine, that hey, wine away girl. thing. You know. Huh? Hey, birthday girl. Hey. <laughs> um, God, I'm still scrambling to catch up from that, um, which is all good. Good, good reasons to be busy. And um, so what I wanted to ask real quick is just like, at what point do you think you maybe stop following up with people? Like, for example, you have a conversation with them or you send the hey, God, did that message come through or even like you said earlier with the promo you haven't talked to them or they didn't you know you didn't wrap up the loose end so you go back and I was like hey I know you know we previously talked about product XYZ whatever it is yes. and um, I know we never really got you set up and got the ball rolling we have this promo going a little tidbit about that and then they still don't follow up and then maybe like I'll go through my messenger from time to time like I was going back through what had gone up from like the fourth and comments on those host to post and I see I've already tried to reach out like two three times do you just there they go and then should they comment on something later down the road then you just start fresh or yeah um I I, I I had one lady that, um, and I'm, I'm going to show you my book here. Um, so Susan did the host a post, and then these were her commenters. Notice how I have this name scratched out. That was a no. That was a no that I, I'm sorry. There, there. That was a no. Um, and um, Ther Thermophyte XX is not going to work for her. Um, there's something in it that um, that she can't take. So for now, keep in mind, I'm still friends with her on Facebook because she accepted my friend request. But as far as this TFX goes, I I'm not ever going to try to sell that to her again because you know she was a she was a no, she couldn't do it for medical reasons. Um, I do think I am very careful about not hounding them because I don't want 
them to go back to the host of the host of post and, you know, be like, this girl is like harassing me to buy her product. Um, you know, like I said, you know, sometimes just planting the seed is a good thing is, is good enough. Um, I planted the seed and I would say three or four of my LCs now were no's that came back later. I don't, it's probably a bigger, bigger number than that. You know, that at first I got a no. Um, I do, uh, you know, if we have a sale or something and they were interested and they just kind of said, you know, nah, no thanks, you know, kind of looked at it and I'm not, it's not something that's for me. You know, I, I will, um, when I get a no, I do, I do kind of back off just a little bit, you know, um, there might be a time later that I feel like, you know, this might be something that they're interested in. Now, not to say the person that I have marked off might not, you know, want to do later down the road, do some uh, beauty products. You know, so I keep her as a friend. Um, she can't take the TFX, but in the future, uh, you know, you never know. I might win her over with some um, neck firming cream or something, you know. So about the ones, like these wouldn't even be what I would consider as just not interested unless they're just afraid to say no, but they yeah. just, the conversation stops and they're just not responding. And yeah. then that's where I've tried the, did my message come through or just something polite when a promo comes up, try to come back to them. But then I've just, I'm just trying to make sure I guess that I am in a sense, exhausting all my options. And I'm not sure. just like you said, I'm trying not to be like hounding them. I don't want that yeah. at all. I don't want to, sure. You know, especially when I'm always in sure. my few lives, I am like, I don't want to push, you know, I want to just help you. And obviously I'm sending yeah. the opposite message if I hound them. Well, and now, Rael, you, say, you probably have found out from the group chat that Rael and your heart operate a lot the same. Yeah. Like you're in it for <laughs> a lot, but a big part of why you're in it is for helping people. I told her one day, just walk away. She said, I can't, it's not in my nature. I have to help this girl. <laughs> so, um, yes, I think, I think keep in mind too, that the more time you're spending on someone who keeps ignoring you is less, is less time you could be spending on. I heard Kelly Brown say the other day on one of those host to post trainings, she said, fresh fish jump first, meaning that yeah. those brand new friends of yours, you know, from host to post or whatever are going to be excited because this is a new idea. Um, also keeping in mind that 80% of sales happen on the seventh to 12th follow-up. So it's a fine line there. Um, but yeah, don't spend too much time on somebody who just repeatedly keeps ignoring you. Maybe yeah. before you completely stop uh, following up with them, go to their page and like obnoxiously comment on a bunch of stuff. <laughs> so I don't mean like 10 things, but like three to five and see if that maybe gets it back going or offer them to host a post and see where that takes it. And if not, it, they'll come around. They will. Cause they didn't tell you no, they didn't tell you to kiss your butt. They're probably just yeah. still thinking, but not ready yet. Um, but a lot of times when you just leave them alone and love on their stuff, they end yeah. up coming back. Yeah. Well, and sometimes you never know what's going on in somebody's life. I mean, you know, I now am on Facebook every day and, you know, um, throughout the day, not all the time, but, you know, I I'm on it regularly. Um, you, you never know. I mean, they could be moving this week and they barely touched their Facebook account. So, um, you know, just keep a lot of that in mind, but yeah. Now, if it is a hard, you know, a hard, hard no, um, you know, I, I, I would probably, you planted the seed, so I wouldn't unfriend them or anything, because uh, they might come back to you later, you, you never know, but um, if they've given you a hard no, I, I normally just say, you know, well, thank you for your time, um, and in the future, it, you know, if you um, decide that you would like to try products, um, just, you know, keep, keep my name in mind. Yep, that's um, what I do too, then, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Or I offer them um, 
you know, post a post or something. Some of oh, them, sure. if it's a no because of like finances, then I've been like offering that business. Like, <laughs> yeah. And then uh, some of them are just like, no, not interested. <laughs> <laughs> Real quick on it. it. And I'm just like, oh. okay, yeah, no problem. Awesome. Yeah, well, I think, uh, I, go ahead. I was just going to say, I don't have anything else, but if you have anything else you want to close with, I would love to hear it. And now she's frozen. Yes. Um, just, you know, you're not. <laughs> okay. So, um, yeah. So build your friend circle, um, you know, work on your Facebook algorithm, um, and just keep working, keep working, keep working. And, um, I have gotten so many no's. Jenny has gotten so many no's. Um, do not get discouraged. Um, you know, and if you're feeling discouraged, that's when you go to the Lord and you say, Lord, you know, I, I, I'm struggling here and I feel like you have placed this in my life. So please help me, you know, to reach these people so I can change their life and help my family at the same time. It's not about getting rich. It's about, you know, blessing others so you can bless your family and that we can all, you know, just support each other, um, you know, and, uh, and, and ask your upline to pray for you. Um, you know, I, I said today, I, I asked Jenny, I said, please pray for me because I really think, you know, this is something that can happen. Uh, of course, it's all, you know, always in God's will or it's not. But um, don't get discouraged. That negative energy, no, nope. no, nope. just block it away mm -hmm. and keep on, keep on, keep on. Um, you know, I, I, I set goals for yourself, um, you know, and if you don't reach them, well, then okay, tomorrow I'm gonna work a little harder. But don't, you know, don't give up, don't give up. Amen. Absolutely. I absolutely love it. Thank you so much for taking the time to teach me, teach these people and you're welcome. Everybody else for hopping on. I have it recorded, so I'll figure out a way to get it into the team page so you guys can share this awesomeness with everybody. Okay. Good night guys. All right.